What's going on all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Nearman Condition and join me today as I do an overview of some of these books that have come out recently from Marvel Comics. So please stay tuned. And welcome back everybody. Now before I get started, a huge thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us copies of these titles. Some of these have already been released and others are going to be released today. So let's go ahead and get started because we got a lot to talk about. We are going to kick it off with The Eternals by Jack Kirby. Of course I'll be showing off the spines, all of them together, uh, probably about halfway through the episode. This book retails for $39.99. And it is the original Eternals complete collection. So this collects issues 1 through 19 and the very first annual. So here we are introduced to the characters of the Eternals. And when I do these overviews, I don't give spoilers away. And there's a lot of books to talk about. Um, but let's just say this one was a lot of fun. It's Jack Kirby coming back to the Marvel Universe in the late 70s. And it's just him doing his own thing. And it's wonderful if you've never read it. This is... Uh, I assume is what the movie is going to be loosely based on. As a matter of fact, the movie was supposed to come out in November. So we've got this omnibus. We had two complete collections coming out. So I know some of you are trade only people and that's wonderful. That's more power to you all. Me, I'm an omnibus guy, so I can't wait for that. Well, it's not really a reprint. It is rather a new omnibus with some more material and adding to the first 19 issues in the annual. This book has 384 pages. And, you know, it feels like an epic. We're, you're familiar with this by now, I'm sure. Um, it's not an epic collection, but it definitely feels like it. And let's look in the back here for extras. I'm not going to be able to show all the extras, but here are some of them. You have original pages, cover, and pages in the issue. And then the house ads. Uh, editorial by Jack Kirby and letters pages from issue 18 this is an interesting one because this had two covers it had the original cover the classic cover and then the new cover which is recolored this one back here so that's pretty interesting I think that one was only available at the direct market here we have the new Morbius series Morbius uh, the old wounds this is volume one it is written by Vita Ayala and it's drawn half of it by Marcelo Ferreira and the other half by Roberto Poggi. Poggi. Oh man, sorry. You all know how I do. But here is the newer series that came out in, uh, I want to say in 2019. And this collects all five issues of this mini series. So of course we're going to see old characters come back into Morbius' life. It's not a retconning or retelling of his origin. And as a matter of fact, he does have a team up with Spider-Man, which, of course, that's where he first appeared, was in an issue of Spider-Man. And this is, I just wanted to showcase some of the artwork. 114 pages and retails for 17... I, is it 17.99? No, 15.99. Sorry about that. It is rated T+, though. So these freaking covers are amazing, by the way. Don't know. I think it's Ryan Brown is the cover artist let's look here in the back for the extras just some of them oh there's connecting covers of five issues i guess those are the variants here we have another punisher mini series collected again for the first time this is the series that came out in 2019 and this is punisher soviet all six issues are collected in here written of course by the phenomenal garth ennis and drawn by jacken or jason burrows and before you even ask, is any of this collected in any of the Garth Ennis Punisher Omnis? No. This is a brand new story. Like I mentioned, it came out in 2019. Uh, of course, you know, Steve Dillon passed away. Oh my goodness, has it been four years now? But this art style by Burroughs looks a lot similar to Steve Dillon's. Even the way that he lays out his pages huh that's pretty cool so hopefully all of this mini series because we've had a couple of them after he left the punisher book will be collected sorry i had to skip some pages because it is pretty brutal i forgot this is rated mature um will be collected in some kind of oversized hardcover format when they're all said and done let's look at the extras here in the back not very many of them just two variant covers and i can't show the other one as i mentioned though it is rated mature 
and this one retails for $17.99. Moving on to a series that I freaking fell in love with, with the first volume, Savage Avengers. Uh, this is also written all by Gary Duggan, uh, Jerry Duggan, sorry, and then it's got Kim Jacinto on art, art, Ron Garney on artwork, the covers are done by David Finch, and it is crazy how enjoyable this is. I mean, I don't want to spoil things, but Conan with a gun and hanging out with the likes of the Punisher, Elektra, and Wolverine, just to name a few characters. It's an interesting read. I forgot Hellstrom's in there. I'm going to be looking at that book here in a second. And I, I, I don't know. I hope that we get an oversized hardcover collection. This book has 144 pages. This one retails for $19.99. This collects the second half of Jerry Duggan's run, and that's issues 6 through 10 of Savage Avengers, as well as the first annual. And it is freaking awesome. Forgot Black Widow and Doctor Strange are in here. Okay, sorry, I had to forgot no spoilers so i'm trying to keep away from the final pages because there are some returning characters but what i was going to say is when i first heard about this concept i was like this sounds like a ridiculous what if title ridiculous in the sense that i would freaking buy it of course but just going through it and reading the first volume i was like okay this actually works i hate to admit it i hate the fact that i enjoy conan in modern times let's look at the back for extras so we've got a couple of variant covers. Some of the variants are in between the pages, which I can't show. And then original artwork. And here's what the spine looks like. And speaking of spine, for all you wonderful folks that always want me to do this, here you go. Here's where you can pause the video. And at this moment, I just want to remind you all to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, we put out videos every day. And of course, the spine of Spider-Gwen, Amazing Powers. Now, these next couple of books I'm going to show are, I'm going to do a quick, quick, quick little show through because The Astonishing Melanie has actually done an in-depth review of both of these. One's already out, the Scream book is already out, the review of that. Uh, and then The Symbiote Spider-Man, Alien Reality, that one comes out later this week. So here we have Scream. Uh, this one is $15.99. And it collects the entire miniseries of Scream, Curse of Carnage. Now, I would strongly, strongly suggest reading at least Absolute Carnage before diving into this book. Because there's a lot of things that happen in here. Like I said, I don't want to spoil for anybody. This book has 140 pages. It collects all five issues of the miniseries. And if you want to check out a more in-depth review, check out the link above for Melanie's, The Astonishing Melanie's Review. As well as the symbiote Spider-Man, Alien Reality. This is the follow-up. This is the original one right here, symbiote Spider-Man. But this is the follow-up to that series. The, like I mentioned, the Astonishing Melanie is going to be doing a review of this later on this week. So tune into the channel. Um, it's got artwork by Greg Land. And this one retails for $15.99 and then collects all of the Alien Reality. Peter David's back riding Spider-Man. I love it. And here we have Hellstorm Evil Origins. This book retails for $24.99. Now, this one's pretty interesting. Um, this one is 240 pages, and it collects the earliest appearances, or the earlier appearances, rather, of Damon Hellstrom, who is Hellstorm, son of Satan. And we've had complete, or not, I'm sorry, they were, uh, what were they called? Hellstorm Classics, I think, where those are done in chronological order, and collect a huge chunk of his complete run. This collects Ghost Rider 1 and 2, Marvel Spotlight 12 and 13 and 24, Son of Satan number 8, and Defenders 92 and 120 and 121. So you have uh, Gary Friedrich, uh, Chris Claremont writing some of this stuff, uh, Jim Mooney drawing it, and Bill Mantlo as well uh, writing it. Oh, and you also have Herb uh, Trimpey uh, drawing some of the artwork in here as well. So it's just a, I don't know, I don't want to say hodgepodge because that's the wrong word to use, but it's not all his stories. I was hoping that we could uh, reprint those in complete collection, or maybe they did last year, I can't recall really. Uh, we, he's only had one omnibus, and that is the Warren Ellis omnibus, and his series is supposed to come out from Hulu sometime this year, oh, that's right, we also have the Defender stuff here. So this is stuff written by J.M. DeMatteis. And let's look in the back here for some extras, if there's any. So you have original pages, 
original Ghost Rider reprint. Uh, the Son of Satan. Yeah, that's what they were called. Son of Satan Classics. So that's the trade paperback one. And then the Hellstrom cover by In Hyuk Lee. And then the cover that you have in the back. This one retails for $24.99. And like I mentioned, has 240 pages of classic stories featuring Damon Hellstrom. Next up is the graphic novel size. These, of course, are a little bit smaller than your traditional trade paperbacks. This is Spider-Gwen, Amazing Powers. This is the second graphic novel uh, to have come out from Marvel featuring the character. This is geared towards a younger audience, but really anybody can get it if you miss the oversized hardcovers or the trade paperbacks. Um, I love the fact that their manga size are a little bit cheaper, of course. This one retails for $12.99. And yes, collects Spider-Gwen 9 through 15, annual number one, and all new Wolverine annual number one. We're getting an all new Wolverine omnibus. Heck yes. Can't wait for that. But if you've not read this, um, you know, give it a shot this way. It's it's It was a fun read, and I know a lot of people were disappointed that they never got the final oversized hardcover. But who knows? You know, you never know what we're going to get from Marvel. I don't know if these have extras in the back. Like, oh my gosh, they do. My daughter never talks about these. That's awesome. That's the variant to the annual. Yeah, so these are variants back here. That's cool that they have all these. And then or, um, original art pages. I have not read this. Uh, this is Zeb Wells, Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider Ham, our Porkalypse Now. I think when I was doing the. I don't know why that still cracks me up. Maybe it's the kid in me. Uh, but this is Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham, like I said, written by Seb Wells. It is drawn by Will Robson, I believe. Uh, retails for $15.99. This collects all five issues of the 2019 series and is 112 pages. Now, let's look in the back for extras as I don't know much about this book here. So there's a set of variants. I can't show the other ones because it might have spoilers and I hate to spoil the amazing or the spectacular spider ham for anybody. But here it is for those spider ham collectors. And here's one I freaking love this cover. I realize it's Mark Brooks doing cover art and he's just, he does it for me still. I miss him on internal pages, but I love his covers. This is Captain Marvel, Volume 3, The Last Avenger. Still written by Kelly Thompson, and most of the artwork in here is Lee Garbett. Now, Lee Garbett, I fell in love with Lee's artwork when working on... Well, I didn't personally work on, but they did... Uh, oh my gosh, uh, Skyward? Skyward, was that it? Yes, the series for Image. And if you've not seen my review of Skyward... Uh, well, you don't have to just take my word for it. It's freaking awesome It's also in my top five hidden gems for image. It's freaking wonderful and Lee Garbett's artwork is just one of the biggest highlights of that series So here's Lee teamed up with Kelly Thompson who's still writing this. This is volume three of Captain Marvel uh, This book right here has 136 pages and it collects issues 12 through 16 of Kelly Thompson's Captain Marvel run and why is Captain Marvel bad? I don't know. Um, I'll just turn here to the last couple pages. So it's got a connecting covers. Uh, it's got a Gwen Stacy cover. And that freaking, that's a Boss Logic cover. I love that design. I don't know what it is about that mask. Just does it for me. But here it is, Captain Marvel. Now the book retails for $17.99. And like I mentioned, has 136 pages. And last but certainly not least is Avengers Star Brand Reborn. This is volume six. Yeah, volume six of Jason Aaron's Avengers run. Now, I was going to say he has teamed up with different artists to keep this going weekly, but he's got some top talent. Ed McGinnis, Paco Medina, Andrea Sorrentino, and Del Keon. Keon. I never know how to pronounce his name. And I've met him twice. He never corrected me because I think I just call him Dell. He's got phenomenal artwork, by the way. He was the guy that did um, Hulk with Peter David. And then he went on to do Pit. Paco Medina, by the way. Here, I don't want to flip through uh, too much spoilers here. Or any spoilers for anybody. Paco Medina has a very Ed McGinnis kind of style. And Ed McGinnis, but of course, 
right here. He's the one that teamed up with uh, Jeff Loeb on the Hulk series, the Red Hulk series, and of course on Batman and Superman. And has a very cartoonish but classic style to his artwork. And Paco Medina has a very similar style to his. So I, they kind of suit each other. Like, I, I love it that they teamed up on the same book. So collecting issues 27 through 32 of Jason Aaron's Avengers. This is one that was recently announced to have, love to see Gladiator back in comics. Uh, has been announced to be an oversized hardcover sometime in 2021. Just collecting the first 12 issues, though. Let's look in the back here for extras. And there we go. This one retails for $15.99, I think. Yeah. And has 116 pages. So, like I said, last but not least. And just wanted to showcase some of this artwork. Now, remember, you can purchase these books from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was it. That was the contents of these books. Let me know in the comments down below which ones you are picking up, which ones you plan on picking up, and hopefully I will start doing this again every week like I used to. Um, but because of the pandemic and shipping and all that, it's it's kind of been a mess. So, now a lot of these, now, actually all these, uh, are being given away for our uh, recent giveaways that we've had. So, keep an eye on the channel when, whenever we have contests and things like that. You all know I love to give things away. Uh, I love to pay it forward. So, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave those comments down below. Ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. Remember, speaking of live, we have a live video tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is a review of the Journey into Mystery Omnibus by Karen Gillen. It's the Loki story, and I cannot wait to talk about it on Old Reader, New Reader. We can be found on Patreon and Redbubble. Those are phenomenal ways to support the channel if you can do so. All of that information is in the description down below. And more importantly, please, everybody, stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.